Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Today is day four of these video thoughts for the week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today's Thursday. And so today I'm going to look at the uh, biblical passage that deals with the number four. Now, there are a lot to choose from. I thought about the four corners of the earth, the, that God is everywhere, the four winds, the, the you know, uh, there are a number of things like that. But I decided to go to Proverbs chapter 30. It uses the number four in a number of different places. I'm zooming in on Proverbs chapter 40. It starts, or 30, starts with verse 24. It says, four things on earth are small, but they are exceedingly wise. And then it gives us those four things. Let's look at them. It says, one, the ants are a people not strong, yet they provide their food in the summer. Uh, ants are, um, uh, actually they are kind of strong if you're comparing them to their body weight. For their body weight, they lift a lot. But for you and me, no, they're not going to lift up uh, this uh, Don Quixote right here, and, and yet I could do it with one hand. Um, ants are exceedingly small. It says, but their wisdom is in providing food for themselves in the summer. Why? Because in spite of their size and in spite of the limits of what they've got, they're very industrious. I mean, you rarely see an ant just sort of sitting around uh, chewing the fat with another ant. They are scurrying. They are busy. They are moving. And there's wisdom, according to the Proverbs, in us being busy people. Now, we can be too busy. Uh, the, the, you know, there's always the extremes. But the idea of industrious, of, of being busy is important. I've got a friend who's, I think, very frustrated with life right now. And I think the reason he's frustrated is because he's not really doing anything. He retired way early and he's just kind of bored. So stay busy. Okay. Second thing that's listed here of the four that are small but exceedingly wise is a rock badger. It says a rock badger are, are a people not mighty, yet they make their homes in the cliffs, which is a really hard thing to do. Uh, rock badgers are conies, uh, uh, they're also called. It's a, it's a mammal, but it's a mammal that is very ingenious in figuring out how to get to these inaccessible places in the, the rocks and the, the cliffs. And that ingenuity is something that, that they're famous for, that they can be adaptable and, and resourceful enough to find that. And there's wisdom in that as well. You and I need to not just be busy, but we need to use our ingenuity, use our creative thinking, uh, uh, be resourceful. If there's a problem, try to find resourceful ways to resolve it. Think outside the box. Pray to God for ingenuity, creativity. It's a, it's a wise thing to get. Number three, the locusts. And it says, the locusts have no king, yet all of them march in rank. They're not like uh, the bees where you've got a, a queen bee or something like that. Locusts, but they will devour a field. Heavens, they'll devour a country. Locusts uh, uh, have an amazing ability to get things done because they work together. Even without a king, they still work together. And that's the wisdom. We need to, to work with other people. We need to find ways to cooperate. We need to be the people who, who build others up in the workplace, who help uh, find peace in the workplace, who help uh, make things go better in the workplace as we work with other people. There's wisdom in that. And then fourth and finally of the four things is the lizard says you can take the lizard in your hands, yet it's in king's palaces. Think about the ability of a lizard to scurry on the ground. A lizard is something that's very resourceful. A lizard is something that, that you and I may look at and, and say, these are poor defenseless little creatures. There's not much that, that they can do to defend themselves except run and scurry. And yet, they find themselves in the king's palaces, in the most exalted residences. 
And, and the wisdom behind that is the wisdom that, that they do what they need to to succeed. And you and I may not be the, the, the ones with all of the talents and all of the gifts, but if we're trying to do what we need to to, to, to do good, we're going to find success. And so these are the video thoughts of the day for today. It's the four things that we can learn through this proverb of wisdom. And how do we apply it? Well, let's be resourceful. Let's be industrious. Let's think outside the box. Let's work with other people. And let's find wisdom feeding our lives with good fruit. That's your video thought for the day. Number five, tomorrow.